Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome in. It is Dion at The Blushing Mint. Thank you guys for checking in and hanging out with me for a little bit today. I appreciate you so, so very much. So I have a new project that I am going to tackle here, my friends. And this is going to be a special request, special order journal. Um, and so I dug into my fabric stash because um, I want it to be a fabric cover, soft, soft feel fabric cover journal. And I dug into my fabric stash and I discovered this fabric. And this fabric is from a remnant roll that I got at... I believe it was Hobby Lobby. I can't remember now. Um, I was going to jump up and look, but it doesn't really matter. But Hobby Lobby or Joanne Fabrics. Um, I shop the remnant rolls anytime that I'm in those stores. That is the only time I buy fabric is if it's a remnant roll. And this is a remnant roll of upholstery fabric. And I got it for, there's over a yard and it was $2.44. Crazy! And this is going to become my cover and my inside cover. This is going to be the base. This is going to be the base of my journals, friends. This is this is the cover base. Um, so I'm going to show you. I thought, well, if I'm going to start this journal, I'm going to show you um, what I'm going to do to make this into a journal cover with this. So, friends, let's do that today. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I hope you're absolutely wonderful. Um, I am super excited about this journal project. Um, I truly, truly am. Okay, I think I threw my last... Okay, deli sheets, friends. I keep these above my desk. Um, and I have them... I, I use them for so much, it's not even funny. So, a deli sheet and some gesso. Now, if I was to take my layer of material. Not necessarily can you see through this, but I really don't. I want to make sure that you don't see through it. Um, if your material isn't an upholstery fabric material, it's very likely that you could see some of this black stuff through it. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna push it into the background, friends. And you do that with gesso. Gesso is our friend and I get my little roller here and I get my gesso and you literally just layer some gesso over the top of those very dark areas and it pushes that right back into the back and um, it will not be visible through your fabric crazy right Easy, easy, peasy. Like I said, probably not going to show through my upholstery fabric, but, um, you know, just in case it does, I want to be, I'd rather be safe than sorry, because I don't really want my people knowing that, you know, I'm using a recycled Amazon package. Not that it really matters. I mean, that's what junk journals are all about, really, right, is reusing and repurposing, but, um, you know, we want them to think that we're magic. We are magical unicorn creating journal people. Um, so, yeah. So, this is literally, this is it, friends. Um, some gesso. And my little roller. That's it. This is, this is the magic. This is the magic, friends. Okay. Amazon packaging is amazing for journals. Um, these come in so handy for creating super easy covers. Um, and let's face it, I mean, come on, we all order from there because it's convenient. It's no longer fast. Not even going to lie. It's not like you can get Amazon two days anymore. I think it's actually like, for me, it's like Amazon seven days, which is ridiculous. And I pay for Prime. But let's not go there, friends. Let's not go there. Alas, I digress. Um, so yeah, so anyway, but we all have we all have this. We all we all we all do. Let's be real. Let's just be real, friends. It's time to be real about 
our stuff, our trash. So I'm just going to use this, cover this all up beautifully, not because it doesn't matter. It's going to not show. <sighs> so friends, welcome to Welcome to playtime. Welcome to playtime. This is like journaling recess, okay? Let's just consider this journaling recess. It's what it is. Okay, just getting out and getting busy here. Okay. Yes, because this is how I craft, friends. Is this not how you craft? This is how I craft. <laughs> okay, there, there it is. That's it, friends. Get rid of this because I really don't want it all over myself and everywhere else um, like it already is. Oh, bless. Baby wipes to the rescue, friends. Buy them in bulk at, Amazon, or at Walmart. Just saying. Okay. All right. Jesso goes away to the side of me there or to the floor or whatever it happens okay and now my little cover here is ready okay what next what next Dion what next just hold on just hold on kids we just came in from recess here we go all right I don't know what's going on friends Whew. I'm on my second lavender lotus lemonade for the day Whew. Good stuff, friends. Okay. So, um, this is the front cover of my journal. This is the inside of my journal. Oh, let me tell you the measurements, my friends. Let me tell you the measurements. Duh. Let me get a ruler that maybe you can read. This is right at 12 inches so fold it in half that's six by right at nine inches that gives me room for a five and a half um by eight and a half so eight and a half by eleven divided by two eight and a half by five sized journal and then an extra quarter of an inch all around for spare room Okay, so that is the back. That's the front. This is the inside. And now I contemplated, friends. I really contemplated if I wanted to use the same fabric inside and out. Um, normally I would use a different fabric, but for this particular journal, I this this fabric is this fabric is stunning i don't know if it's coming through on camera or not this fabric is stunning and so i decided dude i want to use this so now one of the things that you have to do when you are doing fabric covered journals is you have to think ahead and this is something that i fail to do all the time so i'm trying to do as I say, not as I do for you guys. Um, because I forget to think about, oh, what does my closure need to look like? Um, what does my, do I want to have anything on the front? If I do, do I need it to be sewn in? Um, because if you do, you need to do all that before you sew to the cover, to the actual innards here. You got to do all that thinking pre-cover building, okay? Well, for this particular situation, um, because the material is so gorgeous um, and whatnot, I have decided that I am going to just leave it show and be its own beauty on its own. I am not going to attach anything to the cover whatsoever. And the only thing I'm going to do is I am going to have... Um, I'm going to have tie closures on this, and now that I think about it, I need to think about that because I don't know what that needs to look like. So do I want to have a grommet going through it 
um, as my tie closure or do I want to go ahead and sew my tie closure in ahead of time? I need to think about that, friends. That's This is important. These are important things that we need to think about pre-sewing because I am going to be sewing this fabric to this envelope to create my cover. The other thing that I am going to do for this journal on the inside is I am going to have a lace pocket inside this journal as well. So I also have to think about that because this lace needs to go in there so that it can get sewn in with the rest of this um, in order to, I mean, it doesn't have to, but um, that's the way I want it, is I want it sewn in to this journal. So then I'm going to have two big lace pockets in the back of this journal um, when all is said and done. Um, so that is that is important information to know up front. Um, so you have to you have to think about those things. I'm going to go ahead and I am going to cut this lace where I know it's going to be enough, and then I can set that aside because this is going to make some fabulous pockets. Oh, it's going to be gorgeous. But in the interim, I have got to go figure out what I'm going to do for my what I'm going to do for my tie closure. Um, this is important. This is important, friends. Um, so I'm going to pause you for a second um, while I take a moment and decide if I want to do grommets or if I want to find something to close it with. So hang tight, friends. Please don't go anywhere because I will be back. You're not going to miss me, but I could be a bit. Hang on. Okay, friends, I've decided. Um, I think I am going to sew it in. And um, so I want to, I couldn't find anything that I had that was pre-done that was exactly what I was thinking. So I'm going to create it because that's what I do, my friends. I create what I want because I am a creator. So, anywho, here's my here's my glove. Oh, well, there was my glove. Um, let me try again. Here's the glove. See if I can do it right this time, friends. Um, here's the glove, and this is seam binding. I bought this online. Um, look at me being all doctorish and stuff. Um, <laughs> guys, I've had one too many lavender lemonade lotuses today, but whoo, I'm feeling good. Okay. Um, so I bought this seam binding and it's just plain white. Guess what? It can become whatever color you want it to be. And I want mine to be this saltwater taffy color because look at that. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just saying, friends. Okay, so here's how I do it. A little water, squishy, squishy, squishy. Um, a little salt water taffy. Like so. A little dip, dip, dip. Go, go, go. Squishy, squishy, squishy. These are all very, very um, deliberate terms used to describe this process. And um, so just so you know, very, very deliberate terms. Um, there we go. Like this. Now, I'm feeling like, cautiously, that's a little orange. It's a little orange coming out of there. It's a little, not exactly what I was hoping for. So guess what? It's all right, friends. Don't worry. Don't panic. Don't panic. I am going to get me some. I'm right here, friends. Don't, don't go looking for me. I'm just right over here. I'll be back. Hang tight. I just saw it. 
I just thought I'm looking for some barn door friends. That's carved pumpkin. There it is. I knew I had it. I just had to find it friends. I knew I had it. I'm going to get a touch of barn door. Okay. It's a little red. It's okay. Add my coral to that. I don't know guys, you're, you're seeing it live live it could be could be an absolute disaster i don't know i don't know squishy squishy oh but yep it's gonna be fine friends it's gonna be just fine look at it how gorgeous is that come on okay getting a little cloth here wear gloves if you don't want to be colored friends don't forget to wear gloves Okay, ouch. Okay, now let's look. Lovely, friends, lovely, absolutely, absolutely lovely. Okay, here we go. Now, what I'm gonna do, my favorite tool in the shed, the fancy hair straightener do, 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 do. just because i want to work fast i mean you can let this dry you can let this dry naturally no big deal i ain't got time for that friends this is real life crafting with me this is how i roll <sighs> It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous, friends. Just in case I didn't tell you the first time. Gorgeous. You guys, thanks for hanging out with me because, I mean, I'm a hot mess. I'm a whole lot. I'm a whole lot of mess. But I appreciate you guys more than you know for accepting my hot mess and all the stuff that I am. It means a lot to me. Okay. Look at it. Oh my goodness, the color is perfection, friends. Absolute perfection. Um hello. Hello, seam binding. What do you got going on here, friends? Let's get it together. Get it together, girl. All right, real live crafting, real live crafting, friends. It's my last day in the shed. Today is really the 20th of March. This is my last day in the shed until like, I don't know, maybe next week, maybe like Wednesday next week, if I'm lucky. Maybe, maybe friends. We'll see how my week goes. Okay. <gasps> Loving it. All right. Put my stuff back. Put my glove away. Take my glove off. Okay. Put these things away. All right, friends, here we go. <sighs> Beautiful. All right, however. Inside cover. Now, I mean, look at that. Look at it. I couldn't have done that better if I, like, would have tried it. Like, really. I mean, sometimes I impress even myself. Friends, it happens. Okay. I probably made more than enough here, but um, I think I'm going to do a... A double length on each side. 
I think. That's my plan. So I'm going to do two ties on each side. That is my plan, friends. So it would go like so on this side and like so on the other side. That way, it's just soft and fluffy. I don't know. I just feel like that's just what I feel like, friends. Okay, so how do I do this, Dion? I don't really know, okay, friends? We're just going to pretend like I know what I'm talking about right now, okay? And I'm going to lay some Fabri-Tac. Oh, God, Fabri-Tac. <sighs> Guys, I got to find some Fabri-Tac. Especially if this is going to be a project I'm going to make. I'm going to need all the Fabri-Tac in the world. And somewhere about the center, I guess maybe I could be really, I could be like super dynamic and I could actually mark this at the center of this beautiful little beast. And so that would be four and a half. That's like right here. And do the same thing over here. So like... It's even. Hello. Hello. What a great idea, my friends. Four and a half. Okay. So then when I, whoop, there's my Fabri-Tac coming out just like I wanted it to. So then I'll put Fabri-Tac on both sides here. And I'll just lay these ribbons right on top of that. And then I at least know my tie closures are centered. Okay. Cause yeah, that would make sense. My friends is to have the little closure centered. Okay. And then they're glued in, they're going to get sewed in, and my Fabri-Tac is leaking, and I just, you know, because I don't have enough issues with my Fabri-Tac, let's just let it leak everywhere, too. Okay. All right. Um, all right. So, this is the inside. Here's my little seam binding. I want them to lay over each other just a little bit there. Okay. Just a quick overlap a little bit. Okay. All right. And then now I am going to because, because friends, I am not a seamstress. I'm not a sewer. I am not a sewer girl. I am going to come in here and I don't want, I don't want a lot of glue because it will show through the project. It can come through and show through the material. Okay. And I just don't really want that to happen, but I think I need to kind of keep my, um, fabric kind of in place because I'm not a sewer girl. Okay. Um, it's just not, it's just not my nature. So I'm going to smooth this out a little bit and I just have this here. I want this just so I can kind of tack that material in place. Um, so I don't make more of a hot mess than is, than I should. not really doing anything other than just tacking that material down for me. Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing. Oh, my dog is knocking. Hold on, friends. My dog is knocking. I hear you. 
Mr. Impatience. Hello. Come on in. Is the wind bothering you? Oh my gosh. And yes, I should tell you that if you hear the wind howling or you hear something howling, um, it is the wind. It is ferocious today. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing here. Um, oh, my envelope was open. Maybe I should just tack that closed. Oh, yeah. Tack it closed, friends. Tack it closed. I was just thinking, ooh, but I could use that as pockets. No, friends, don't. You could, but let's not talk about that today. Okay? Let's just not do that. Let's just close this envelope. Like we mean business because we do, friends. We mean business right now. At least, I mean, I do. I don't know. I mean business. I mean business. Okay. Let's get it together, Deanna. Get it together, girl. Get it together. Oh, my gosh. This ribbon is gorgeous. Okay. So this is the front of our journal. Same thing. Let's, um, oh, Fabertac. This is a very um, scientific way of doing the glue. Roundy, roundy, straight across. Yep, uh-huh. Scientific, all the scientificness. Smoothing it out so that um, there's no lumps, so it won't show on the fabric as badly if it should show. Okay, that's what I'm doing. All right, fabric. Front cover, make sure you're laying your fabric down the way that you want it to be oriented on your journal if this is what you're doing. Okay, it's important. Guys, look at it. I mean, come on. Is that not like gorgeous? Some days. All right. Now, the next thing I need to do is I need to put this lace down and I need to tack it in. So that I make sure that it gets stitched when I stitch around this. Okay. Here is my struggle because I, I don't do well with this. So I'm going to use my fabric to help me through this process. And Fabri-Tac. fabri, -Tac. fabri -Tac, friends. I need some more fabri -Tac. How many times do I have to say that? Okay, this is the corner of my journal right here. And I'm going to use my fabric here to help me maintain the edge of my envelope because I cut this fabric larger than the envelope for a reason. Um, and so I want to make sure that I am on the actual edge of the envelope when I place this Very, very important. Very important detail. Okay, pull it taut. Now I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to come up the side here.
to tack that side in place as well. Just making sure that I'm even there, across the bottom, etc. Coming up the side. Here. And our sewing is going to catch it, but we're just doing some preliminary work here to try to give us the best chance, best chances. At least this is my process. Again, friends, I'm sure there are 100 people that do fabric covers and all that other stuff, and they probably are 10 times probably thousands times better than I am. Um, way more experienced. I have only done a few fabric covers in my time. I mean, I've done several, but let's face it, I'm not a professional. I'm not a professional, friends. I just show you my way. <gasps> Gosh! Gosh, I cannot describe this to you guys. I, I can't. Okay, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my sewing machine, and I am going to sew this, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. Ah! Okay, I'll be back, friends. Hang tight. Don't go anywhere. Please don't go anywhere. Um, I gotta find the remote control so I can pause you. Hang on, friends. Be right back. Okay, friends. There you have it. I've sewed around it. Um, I've doubled up some sewing on a few different places just because. And um, the inside caught all my lace. Love it. Got all my lace in there. Big, huge pockets for the back. And then our lovely tie closure. It'll be a double tie. And it'll look something like so. Come on, friends. There you have it. An easy, easy, soft, repurposed fabric cover for my next journal. Friends, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for being here. It means the world to me. I am so happy with this. I just, I'm just tickled. All right, friends, until the next time, take care, be well, and I can't wait to visit again. See you soon. Bye-bye.